guess what? The Minimalists are going on tour with a live version of The Minimalists podcast. And I want to invite you to join us for a night of less. Find your nearest city at theminimalists.com slash tour. We'll see you there. Are our desires tied to our fears and vice versa? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, let's talk about fear here because it does seem to me to to a great extent, maybe our fears often fuel our desires. Or it could know. also stunt them too, right? Like my fear uh, of going snowboarding. Uh-huh. I could have absolutely allowed that to just stunt my my love for snowboarding. Yeah, but I'm maybe. the type of but I'm the type of person though where it does fuel me though in the sense that I'm fearful of something and I'm like oh I got to go out and face that head on and I'm going to see if I can conquer it but I could see where a lot of people they want to go to the party and they want to be outgoing but they're so scared of what people are going to think that they kind of like shove that desire down and don't do it. I think they still have the desire though they just don't take action on it. Mm, maybe yeah. the desire can go away at some point but it seems to me Pete that that. Uh, when we when we're afraid of of something, it often uh, well it's it's certainly tied to our desires. Yeah, there's something going on there. I mean, a simple example is this has happened to me. I was at a party recently, and there was a guy there, and we got talking, and he was telling me that he was terrified of death, had a real fear of death, mm-hmm. and it was something that actually paralyzed him at a lot of times in his life. And as we were talking, um, he because he's also tried to find solutions to this. And um, and but uh, we were chatting and I was kind of like, going, well, here, you know what? What if what if you're not afraid of death? What if you're obsessed with it? And and actually it's your what what you're f- afraid of is your desire. Just like if you look mm-hmm. over a cliff and you feel like you want to jump, you know, you feel like that because there's so, you, you fear jumping because there's something in you that wants to jump. So I live in the 31st floor of an apartment and I have this window that opens up and it has a, a plastic kind of barrier so you can't fall out but you can't see it it's clear plastic so I'll often whenever someone comes up I'll see if they can like like put their hands behind their back and fall against the plastic you know so um but uh it's interesting how some people are terrified of even I mean it's not it's not a nice thing to do to people but um or some people are terrified of going near to the window even sure you know Mm. and and it's not everybody's then interested in death but but sometimes if you've got that fear of falling, it actually shows that you have a fear, of, you have a death drive, a fear of death. Mm. So that that's an example of how, and it was funny because talking to him, it did change his perspective. Like he did, as we talked, he was like, actually, there is a part of me that wants to die. Mm. And he was like, and so, because here was he was asking me, because he knows that I'm interested in these ideas. And he was going, how do I overcome my fear of death? And what I talked to him about is going like, no, it's not about overcoming your fear of death. You never will. Mm. What you have to do is look at your desire to die. And as you make peace with that desire and as you work it through, the fear of death will disappear. You're trying to get rid of the fear of death. Work, work through your desire. And as you work through your desire, the fear will dissipate.